Here is your Forbes Daily Briefing for Wednesday, April 17th. Today on Forbes, meet the new AI robot billionaire. Brett Adcock, the 38-year-old founder and CEO of robot maker Figure, stands a few feet from a humanoid robot lurking behind a table. Speaking to it, he asks, quote, Figure one, can you choose a healthy snack for me from that basket? Its options are an orange and a bag of chips. The robot, a.k.a. Figure One, picks up the orange using dexterous, human-like hands and gives it to Adcock. Then Adcock asks the robot what color shirt he's wearing. There's a 30-second pause before the robot replies in a slow, deep voice, quote, You're wearing a dark-colored shirt. It's correct, if not very specific. His tea is dark gray. Adcock is pumped about his robot, and for good reason. In January, the company announced a collaboration with BMW with the goal of putting Figure's robots to work at the German automaker's Spartanburg, South Carolina manufacturing plant. Six weeks later, Figure raised $675 million at a $2.6 billion valuation from the likes of Microsoft, NVIDIA, the OpenAI Startup Fund, and Jeff Bezos. At the same time, Figure signed a collaboration agreement with OpenAI to develop next-generation AI models for humanoid robots. The valuation makes Adcock, who owns about 50% of the Sunnyvale, California company, a new billionaire. With his figure stake and shares from a previous startup, he's worth an estimated $1.4 billion. The company, Figure, has Jetsons-like ambitions, a future where every human will have their own humanoid robot, or maybe two, quote, to do work, do the laundry, make coffee, cook dinner. According to its founder, that'll pay off big time. Adcock says, quote, This will be, over time, one of the most important businesses in the world. The goal is to be a generalizable replacement for human labor. But before any of that can happen, the two-year-old company has a mountain of challenges to work out. Walking, for instance, is a work in progress, as Forbes reporters witnessed during a recent visit to Figure's offices. Figure One needs about five minutes of warm-up while tethered to an overhead beam before strolling around an open space in the middle of Figure's offices. Things don't go as planned. Mid-warm-up, the humanoid gets a kink in its mechanical hip. Its right leg gyrates wildly at an odd angle. After a few more minutes and a quick software fix, two Figure employees get the kink out. They take the tether off and Figure One starts walking on its own, metal parts clinking with each step. Robots have come a long way in recent decades. They are now routinely employed to assemble cars and move stuff around warehouses. Some are starting to be used to collect and disseminate data on construction sites, as Forbes has reported. The latest twist is a surge of interest in creating AI-powered humanoid robots that do many things, unlike robotic arms making cocktails, and learn new tasks. A gaggle of companies is at work on these bipedal creations. Tesla is developing one called Optimus that's likely to help assemble cars. After Adcock tweeted about Figure's late February fundraising on social media platform X, Tesla boss Elon Musk replied, quote, bring it on. There is an Oregon-based company called Agility Robotics and a Norwegian outfit named 1X, which is backed in part by OpenAI and raised $100 million in January. Others include Austin, Texas-based Aptronic, which in March signed an agreement with Mercedes-Benz for its robots. When AI chip giant NVIDIA unveiled a new initiative to work with robot makers, nearly all the robots on display were humanoids. The big advantage of a humanoid robot is the obvious one. The world we live in was designed for humans. Jesse Kors Blankenship, a board member at Figure, which is backed by his Parkway Venture Capital, says, quote, If you can have a safe, human-like robot that can work alongside people, the market is just outstanding. For full coverage, see our in-depth video about Brett Adcock and Figure, and check out Carrie A. Dolan and Amy Feldman's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.